No one in this world can you trust. Not men, not women, not beasts. This you can trust. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Glory of Golden State Gaming. I'm your host, Swamp Swimmer, and with me, as always, the itchy to my scratchy, Vespasian. <laughs> nice. Hey, everybody. <laughs> um, hey, so remember, uh, 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 I don't know, a dozen bat reps ago, I recommended a movie called The Last Duel. And it was like um, 14th century France knights dueling, and it had like Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, and Adam Driver in it. Yes, I do. So I ended up actually watching that the other. I was on a, a plane yesterday, and I watched it on the plane, and I was like. I was incredibly yeah. impressed. It, like, I just want to talk about this movie for half a second. Like, we all love historical. It's it's directed by Ridley Scott, you know, who did Gladiator, all those big historical action movies, right? And and it's like it's it was it was about knights just fighting, which is like fun and like there's some pretty cool action scenes. But really, what the movie was about was like not about the action it was honestly about a much more difficult subject to talk about which is uh it was sexual assault which is surprising um but i oh. wanted to say like I, the way I, I the reason why i found it i found it so refreshing because i, I i'm having a little um i'm getting tired of watching fantasy movies and the ultimate goal is oh let's go kill the big bad guy who's evil and we're the good guys it gets one dimensional and I watched this movie and I was like, wow, yeah. it was incredibly not one dimensional and it was told really well and had cool visuals and all that good stuff. Anyway, I'd highly recommend that movie to anyone who's watching. But also, can you think of any good fantasy or fantasy adjacent movies where it has, um, it's not a ripoff of Lord of the Rings where they're going to kill the big bad evil guy? Hmm. Um, good question. I guess it, it, it uh, just the fact that it's taking me this long to think about it means that it's it's a tough question. Um, mm. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I mean, I guess that, that, that uh, <laughs> it's for, for, further evidence for my argument is like, I think if we saw a, a story yeah. based in a fantasy world that was not as grand as saving the world from the bad guy, but it's smaller stories like i don't know getting the guy a revenge story or a uh, in like a you know all, all the stories that are in modern cinema, cinema right now that like that are a little more less one dimensional i think it'd be really awesome and i i i as a viewer myself i'd really appreciate um hey uh viewers anyone watching if you can think of a fantasy movie that has a unique plot Hit me up in the comments section. I'd greatly like to talk about it. I, I let me let me try for one. I'll, I'll try for one. Um, Underworld, the first Underworld. Um, so you know, in in the in the first Underworld, there, there's there's maybe maybe the reason I think that there isn't like a big bad that they're trying to fight the entire time is because there's that sort of switcheroo. <laughs> you know, spoiler alert, but. You know, she she gets raised to, to hate and fear and, and hunt werewolves, but it actually turns out that the really evil one is is her, you know, patriarch vampire, right? And so she's not after him the entire movie, even though that's what ends up being the final fight. And and actually the arc of the movie is they create a new sort of a new future for the two races, yeah. right? With this new subspecies. Yeah. Um I don't know that that's that's like it, it's it's not exactly the like go and you know fight the guy in the tower with the you know who's all powerful kind of thing it doesn't have that same exact arc i guess but maybe we're splitting hairs <laughs> yeah true i mean i i uh i got i can't write i i definitely did watch that movie but I, man it's been a while i can't remember but anyway uh, i think it's I, I think it's a fun it's a anyway good question yeah. clearly not enough. i agree i agree but yeah. hey let's get into the battle report and 
I had a small win. You had a big win round one. Uh, and then I get paired into our good friend Josh Gurin on Warriors of the Dark Gods again. I feel like Josh has been on... <laughs> warriors, Warriors, Warriors. Josh has been on this show more than a few times. Um, but hey, I really like him. He's a great guy to play. Um, he loves to push his models for us and roll some dice, so it's always a good time. Uh, if The master of guns himself. <laughs> hey, if you're interested in my list, please click the link right above my head. It is the list review video for Sacktown Smackdown. And uh, you can go over our my list, uh, Josh's list, and all the lists in the tournament if you are interested. But let me quickly go into Josh's list here. He's got the good old Feldrake Ancestor with paired weapons on super decks. He's got a Doomlord General on a Wasteland Behemoth with the Burning Portent. So it's, oh man, wow. he's that, that's such a badass model and you don't see it ever. Ugh. Sorcerer, Bale Walker on a Black Steed, Master on Occultism, 20 Warriors of Greed, 8 Barb Horsemen with Great Weapons, 9 Chosen with Greed, 1 Feldrake Elder, 5 Warriors with Great, with, uh, great Weapons Wrath, and then some Chaff from just 5 Hounds. Not a lot of wounds in this list, but man, it can hit. And, you know, honestly, I think yeah. this is a good matchup for me. I've got a lot of tools to get through his toughness and his armor, and he doesn't have a lot of wounds, and I've got a lot of attacks, and he doesn't have any, that much light shooting. I think it's a, it's a good matchup for me, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> you see his fists up there. Uh, oh, my gosh. What was... Um, <laughs> oh, this was uh, Marching Columns Breakthrough. Marching columns, marching columns capture the flags. So we both start yes, from the correct. left yeah. and drop maybe three. And then if I remember correctly, he dropped everything to go first and then I responded. So he's got, yeah. Sounds like Jim. From his left to his, or his right to his left, he's got, we've got the, uh, the behemoth with the burning portent. We've got the Feldrake Elder. We've got the Warrior Knights, Warhounds, the Warriors of Greed, the Barb Horseman with his wizard in there, the Chosen, and this is the Feldrick Ancestor. Mine was a Giant, uh, a Minnow Stick, Gargoyles, a big Wildhorn block with the Evocation Wizard in there, my Minnow block down here, I think with the middle block was the last one I dropped. So I think we dropped a few because I remember I put the middle block here because I wasn't sure if he was going to push uh, to the right or left of the tower. So I wanted the middle block to be able to navigate to the right or left of the tower. Um, oh, you're oh, on my yeah, team we are. from last round. <laughs> I just, just realized that the, the orientation is, is reversed, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then I think after that he dropped everything. So then I, I dropped the rest, which is another giant my wild horn block with the shamanism wizard in it gargoyles that's the scouting gargoyles i put him out there and then a minnow stick here ready for his big bad ancestor come to come over the hill yeah Perfect. i think um i think we both deployed well because it's really tricky with marching columns to fight him because his characters which are his two big bad monsters ignore the marching columns basically they can be dropped anywhere so it's a little more difficult, but I think I'm in a good spot here. Um, so in his turn, he pushes and he pushes hard. He puts it, yeah, he puts his Doom Lord far Whoa. to the left. He pushes his Knights way up into the front of me. Same with his Feldrake Ancestor. Leaves his Chaff behind and everything just pushes up straight forward. Just not a whole lot there. He just goes for it. Uh, let did he know about the trick with the, I, with I, the Mino I'm pretty sure I explained it to him beforehand, champs. or at least I, men I mentioned it and he knew about it, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the magic phase, I think he does a few wounds to my Minnow block. Uh, and then it's my turn. Um, I take two kind of 
fairly long charges. They're like a six and a seven non-swift stride. One with a giant, one with the minnow stick into his warrior knights. I was anticipating if I make one of them, I can buff that unit up where you can beat the warrior knights, but I made both, which was nice. Uh, on the right, I see his ancestor coming, but I want to, I want to push in the center here before he gets to me. So I back up on the right and kind of line up in the center here and chaff his elder and his warrior block with the gargoyles here. And since... Okay, so you're... You, you aggressive yeah. move in so response. I, 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 like I guess I was lucky to make both of these because then his Doom Lord is not, has no charge basically afterwards. Um, but yeah, I was, the thing is if I had failed that charge, I'm okay having one of these two units sitting here in the open because I really want that Doom Lord in the front of this Wild Horn Blick. I don't want him scooting around the side, which Josh could easily do. Uh, yeah. Magic phase. On the giant, I get Spectral Blades. So re-rolling to wound. That's boosted. And I think that's incorrect. I didn't get Gnarled Hide. I got, um, um, Blooded Horn. So I got the ad additional AP. Whoa. So, okay. yeah. It was a good magic phase for me. And, um, as a result, I blow up the unit. And then I, I overrun with the minnows. Yeah. I needed to think an 11 to make it into his dogs. I rolled a 12. And then the giant just sits sure. there out of everyone's arc. And it's just like, oh, okay, do what I want. <laughs> it was a good start for me. It was a... Perfect. Yes, I do. Do you count down I always the count wounds? down. That's you just my little left. quirk. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. So in his turn... He takes the long charge with the Doom Lord into my Wild Horns. And he makes it. That's a little scary because I'm on a eight re-rollable. In the first round, he's gonna win combat because I'm just gonna feed him my champ and I don't have any ranks. Yeah. So I'm gonna lose combat, but yeah. I'm gonna steadfast, but it's an eight re-rollable. So it's a little scary that he's in there. Um, he, takes it, he takes his warriors into the chap. He takes his uh, barb knights. He wanted to chaff my um, minnow block because he didn't want the minnow block going a, a straight up charge into his warriors here. So he puts them out and then also takes his wizard out here. And he can do that because obviously I have no shooting or offensive magic. Uh, and then he does, he, and he admitted this, he admitted this to me himself afterwards. He puts his Feldric Ancestor here which is I'm going to blow up those knight, those hounds with the minnow stick, and then I'm just going to turn to face him and charge him in my turn. So he he kind of realized that afterwards, like that was a dumb move. Yeah. Uh, he continues to push with the um, Chosen and the Feldrake Ancestor straight in my face on the right here, which is, I think, the right move. Um, so basically, I think at this, I was thinking at this point, if I can pass some eight re-rollable leadership checks, I'll be okay. Um, uh, yeah, he kills the chap. I turn to face his Feldrick Ancestor with the Minnow Stick. Uh, and then in my turn. Uh, yeah, okay. In my turn, I charge the Minnow Stick into his Ancestors. I charge the, the Minnow Block into his Barbs and also the, um, Giant into his Flank. And my reasoning here for this was that I'll come into the flank, I'll kill him, and then this guy will chaff his warriors after after combat. Okay. The other giant, I move around here and chaff is chosen because I don't want to fight that battle yet. Um, and here I just uh, I don't charge. I'm I'm gonna let him to charge me. I've got my chaff off to, over here to chaff the the chosen again. I'll definitely take off a big chunk of wounds if he charges these, this minnow stick down here, but then the minnow stick's gone. So, I like it over here. Magic phase, I get boost. I think I five-diced it. I um, 
Uh, I five dice boosted spectral blades on this unit, which basically means the Doom Lord's dead now. Brutal. Uh, and I do, I think, all but one wound on him in this round, and he does a bunch of damage to me, and I end up sticking. Which is nice. Did you kill the the elder? Oh gosh, I did. The great weapon, my yeah, house? I remember That's this. In pretty... this battle, I charged. He whiffed hard. Uh, I think he hit with <laughs> one attack. And then I go back and I just rolled out uh -huh. the box and killed him. Oh. I know. <laughs> I, I think one. he made a little bit okay. of too aggressive of moves and the dice kind of went against him. So, uh, yeah. So the way I, I, I do... Yeah, I mean, imagine, imagine if he'd had that elder kind of like down... But like around the flank of the Doom Lord, and then in this turn, he could bring the Elder in, yep. crush yep. that unit. You know, that would have been big. So as I said, yeah. giant here, I have the the Warrior unit chapped, and he can't overrun into my middle middle block, which is nice. Uh, let's see here. Oh, in his turn, he takes the charge with the Ancestor into the Minos. Obviously, he takes the charge into the Giant with the Chosen. Giant's dead, which is fine takes the charge with the warriors into the other giant that giant's dead i'm fine with that and he moves his wizard way up over here to the left out of everyone's arc <laughs> yeah it's really revenge in the minus uh and that's what he does <laughs> he one shots i think with a boosted hellfire he one shots the unit no 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 he's Did still he alive die? he just he just fell off his base he just fell off his but he face. killed the middles in front <laughs> okay. of him okay uh, he does. He nice. does a little there more damage go. on here. Blasty. I think with. I think I had a bad dispelling phase, and he he, he did pretty well. Uh, he kills that yeah. giant. Which is exactly what I thought would happen. Uh, he kills that giant, and then in this combat, he does really well. He kills two of the minnows because he did it with Ow. his breath weapon. Oh, got it. Yeah, so he okay. so the, he killed the champ with his regular attacks, and he killed one Mino with the breath weapon. But then that okay. one Mino swings back and does six wounds to him. <laughs> what? I rolled oh. six. He's got three. He's got three attacks. You rolled yep. three sixes to hit. <laughs> And then you yeah. wounded with all three or all six on threes. It was Jesus. it was bad. Wild. It was very, very, very bad. That's wild. That's wild. Good for you. That's that's the moment everyone dreams of. I love it. It was pretty bad. Okay. Uh, so you and stick, I stick around. Yeah, I stick because I do six wounds. Jeez. Yeah, uh, so also a, I I ended up. In two rounds, I kill the other. I do the other wound onto the Doom Lord Behemoth, and then I start pushing back over to this side to help out in case this Wildhorn block uh, can't handle all this. I take the charge with my minnows into the Warrior block, which I think I'll win that, mm -hmm. and then I chaff the Chosen and yeah. well, just the Chosen with the with the gargoyles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he ends up killing that last minnow, so he did kill. He did kill those Imagine minnows, you, <laughs> but I, um, you know, I am more than happy with them doing six wounds to an ancestor. Really. Yeah. Uh, and so here we go. I, I think I got a buff up on here too. I just didn't take a picture of it. I kill all but three guys in the warriors unit with the minnows. I I realize I kind of want the the minnows back in the fight over here, especially against the chosen. Maybe go around the building, so I let them go. I'm like they're not gonna rally on a four, I think it was, or a five. And then the spoiler, they the first time they they get to rally, they rally on a three, I think. It was like, damn it, I should have pursued because <laughs> they didn't go very far. They only went like a four inches or something. Yeah. It's yeah, like a I know. Whack yeah, that was I was too, kicking myself for, sure. for that one. 
Uh, yeah, there's his rally. Here's his rally on a three. There it is. <laughs> Classic. Um, so yeah, he takes he takes the chap here. He moves the antra sensor into my flank. And oh, you did you did five wounds because the using the breath. There we go. You're right. Wound. I, I feel I feel. I only rolled that. two sixes <laughs> instead of three. So, so there you go. Yeah, exactly. Um, That's funny. Jeez. Yeah. So here we are. Uh, he makes these moves. Nothing big. Kills the chaff. In my turn, I take the charge with these wild horns into his chosen. I'm a little worried about this fight. The chosen are just okay. so brutal. I realize I because they go because they go first and they have like don't they have like four attacks exactly piece exactly weapons? they it's shred like, they just shred. I think they're they're yeah, they're a very good out. counter to my yeah. wild horns. Uh, I realize I do want those uh, warriors points, so I turn back around with my minnows. In the magic phase, I get blooded horn and plus one strength. So exactly what I needed, and that's gonna be, so Don't now these it. wild horns are hitting at strength five AP four. Would you have, would you have struck first if you'd gotten Blackwing out? Yeah. Is that what he No, stopped? actually what he stopped, he stopped was um, yeah. boosted spectral blades, yeah. Spectral, yeah. But I think the thing that matters the most, like, I mean, he could kill 20 yep. before you swing, right? I mean, I think that if you could have gone first, that would have been big. But I also understand this because this means yeah. you, hit, you hit really hard. And it's so. okay if he does 18 wounds or 16 wounds. I'll swing back and I'll, I'll do more than him. So, yeah. and then I also get Clouded Eye off on this unit because I know he's going to try to magic the shit out of him. So I hit Clouded Eye up, which is nice. Yeah. And I do a I kill in this combat, I do all but one wound to him. He does 16 18 wounds to me, but I kill all but one half of the last guy. Just just nice. What a crazy <laughs> That's a bloody, bloody combat. combat. Um Jeez. But it's like 40 <laughs> wounds exchanged. <laughs> Uh, he awesome. takes the charge into the flank, which uh, it was a huge mistake because he didn't. He forgot that I have all these buffs up, and I can get one wound off of his Feldrake. Uh, and then he yeah. tries to position over here, but then um... I mean, his his alternative, to be fair, yeah. his alternative was to retreat, right? I mean, he didn't really have an, another option. Uh, so. And then in combat, I wipe both of them i do the one wound on both of them so that's cleared there and then in my turn i charge with what's left of the the minnows into his three warriors and wipe them so it ends up the only thing left on the board for him is uh his wizard ironic because i still don't understand how that wizard survives any of his games but <laughs> and um <laughs> Especially with the way he casts. I mean, he's got to blow himself yeah, really. up like every other and game. And really, right? he took a lot of points <laughs> off me. He took all my chaff. Yeah. He took both the giants. He took half of the minnow unit. That was a, a lot. Of... It looks like he, he got he got two wounds away from taking yeah. a whole minnow unit. Exactly. Which is pretty impressive. Uh, but I end up with a big old 19, a big win for me. Great work. Wow. Bloody yeah, game. it was bloody. Jeez. It was fun. That's all they always are with Josh, and it's always fun. <laughs> um, so I, I mentioned yeah, this in my yeah. last report. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. These wild horns with this magic. I mean, I killed a freaking doom lord on a behemoth with burning portent. Yeah, and chosen. You killed the, I killed. The, yeah, I killed the doom lord. I killed. And chosen. I mean, I'm I'm starting to and a forsaken one. I mean, they've got they've got quite a the wild. I'm, I'm really feeling tally. strongly about this core setup. Um, I'm not necessarily in love with the minnow sticks. Nice. I mean, they're great in certain situations, but um, yeah. 
and honestly josh just he pushed too hard in turn one this 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 round this turn one charge here really made things easier for me and he ended up taking the charge with the doom lord into my wild horn block which was the wrong move he needed to skirt around the side and then i would have to turn to face him and back up and yeah yeah it does seem like that guy that guy wants to fight exactly that's block, exactly right? what he wants to fight um i feel like it was an exact yeah. mismatch of what he wanted <laughs> I just got the matches up yeah. on I wanted. I got the minnow stick into the Feldrake Ancestor and the minnow stick into the Feldrake El uh, um, Elder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm surprised. I'm surprised the no, well uh, the Wildhorn block took out the Chosen. I was worried about that combat, but have faith in Wildhorns. Have faith in Wildhorns. Yeah. I mean, I think you, you played this the way you needed to, which is that you ate his yeah. army in chunks, right? You just, you were like, knights, elder and behemoth, ancestor, warrior block, chosen, you know, like you just, you just did it like in, you know, step by step, right? And you used all your chaff to, to make all that happen. So, so after yeah. two games, I'm sitting at 31 points, which is pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Um, but we will see where Vespasian ends up in his round two. If anyone's still watching, please like and subscribe. Hit that follow button on Twitch. And um, everyone have a good evening. Thanks, everybody.